Hi everyone, my name is Hanna Gorezi. Currently, I'm a PhD student at RMIT. And today I'm going to present a work I've done as part of my master's dissertation at the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul here in Brazil. The paper is called Augmented Situated Visualization Methods Towards Electromagnetic Compatibility Testing. Most of the work I've done is related to this area of situated data visualization in augmented reality. And the one I'm presenting today is focus, focusing on electromagnetic compatibility problems, or EMC. So EMC is a study of how different electronics can avoid electromagnetic interference from one another in the same environment. And this is usually done by analyzing the electromagnetic fields propagated from them. Quickly going through related works, uh, the most relevant one is a 2019 study that renders small scale 2D grid readings in AR. Unlike ours, their focus is not precision, but quickness to measure, using their own prototype for a handheld device. So regarding the data we work with, we came up with two visualizations. The first one being a full 3D topology of the field, which can render multiple color-coded frequencies at the same time. The main use for this is scaling the field and seeing how it collides with the environment surrounding it. The next one is a planar slice section of the field. Instead of rendering its boundaries, we render directional vectors to all sides, each one representing the intensity of the field at that point. These vectors expand as raycasts until they are occluded by real objects, representing a collision with another device or surface. So in order to extract data from the visualizations, we came up with three different interaction methods to be tested. The first one is called hand slider, which focuses on more precise readings. After picking one of the 2D vectors, the user can slide their hand sideways to expose the intensity reading from different points along the vector. The next one is called gazing. The user can pick different points of the vectors by simply centering their vision onto it. Finally, the third method, method is called touch lens. The user is required to extend their hand onto the virtual fields touching them. The hand, the hand position will then prompt a panel which will expose the and update the field intensity at that precise location. Here we have a video demonstration of the application running. The data is being displayed in augmented reality in an egocentric perspective using the Microsoft HoloLens as a headset. So the user would see and interact with all of this in first person. For the user experiment, we set up in nine uh, we set up nine data extraction tasks for each of the presented methods. The tests were split into interaction, comparing the three different methods as independent variables, and visualization, comparing the 2D versus the 3D fields. Uh, because of the pandemic, we had to shorten the amount of people testing the setup in order to properly space the tests out. So we chose to have less users doing longer trials. In total, there were five people and their number of walking steps, time taken, and error ratio was, were measured for each of, of the trials. For the proper results now in our interaction comparison, we can see that the gazing method overall took the least amount of walking steps from the users. In the visualization comparison, the 2D planner section required the least amount of walking. As for the time taken, the touch lens method got the best results by far. And so did the 2D planner visualization. 
regarding the intensity error read by the users, the hand slider offered the most correct readings, whereas the, the 3D full field overcame the 2D vis in the same aspect. So we managed to obtain statistically significant effects for the interaction comparison on all three of the variables measured. The gazing technique required less user dislocation, arguably since readings can be made from afar. The touch lens method took less time, likely since it used a very straightforward touching metaphor, which was easy to reproduce. And the hand slider likely had the smallest error ratios since the subjects were used to perform refinement tasks with their hands, as humans usually do. As for the visualization comparison, we only had statistically significant results for the error ratio variable. The 3D topology helped users to be less as error prone in their tasks. This is possibly due since they, they felt more free to take finer readings of feeling restrained to the 2D plane. So overall, we implemented 2D and 3D situated, situated visualizations in AR, focusing on exposing EMC data for data extraction scenarios. All of our proposed interaction methods were adapted into ASV, focusing on freehand gestures, minimizing the need to touch surfaces or devices. The user test results ended up showing a trade-off between time and correctness among the different techniques used, which highly suggests specific methods can be chosen based on diverse task requisites. That was all I had prepared for today, given the time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be here to answer any questions.